where Myers just kept his balance and was able to control the pass. Six points for Myers. Hayes right back for Montana. Hits again. 32-31. What an individual performance by Hayes. He has 17 points. Smedley dumping it off to Peck. McKenzie with a left-handed hook. That's his baby. 38-36. McKenzie has the 11. Well, that's quite a one-two attack. Hayes on the outside. Hayes still looking for that first shot of this half. What a play. He's six three, but he has some moves. He got a lot of mileage out of that <laughs> then and there, didn't he? Freshman guard, so John Wooden resting some of his starters, and there's a turnover immediately. Eric Hayes, he scores again, and he's fouled by Corliss. Hayes protecting the ball well. He has been the hero for Montana. Win or lose, he has definitely been the hero. Earlier in the game, I think he would have been reluctant to try and outrun these ball players, but he's loose now. He stretches out. Made a great shot, too, right-handed. Harry Cage won a ball game. He's got 25 points. That is his career high at Montana, where he has shot an amazing 53% from the floor and 81% from the line, both Montana records. Montana can use up. Here's the play that they use against Utah State. Hit McKenzie, and then Hayes breaks around him. And Hayes runs this play very effectively. There he is. Open. 53, and the Montana fans are smelling an upset. Six minutes left in the game. And his parents must be so tremendously proud of this young man, John Wooden, who has an eye for the keen opponent, certainly, I'm sure, after this game. 67, 62, and it appears UCLA will advance, but not without a few nervous pumps of the heart. McKenzie scores, 67-64. Almost a turnover. McCarter to Turgovic. And the ball game is over. We'll see there was a ball called right at the buzzer. No, it was after the buzzer. The final score and a great game. A David Goliath classic. UCLA 64, Montana 67-64. And we'll be back in a moment with what should be a most interesting post-game.